same situation. So then does this make, uh, when you, have you been in touch with Rohit after all this Instagram and stuff has come out? Does it make it slightly awkward for you and Rohit in future? Uh, Dhoni had once said, uh, if, uh, if you, I don't know if you remember, 2012 during the Australian tour, when the similar talks that happened between him and Gautam Gambhir and Seva camp, he said, thoda awkward lag jata hai, ho jata hai when you meet in the dressing room. So how does it, uh, so yeah, you've been in touch with Rohit over this, and how is that, awkward? how do you break this awkwardness to moving forward? See, if I'll tell you something about myself. If I don't like a person, or if I'm insecure of a person, you will see that on my face or in my behavior towards the person and that's how simple it is. I've always praised Rohit whenever I've had an opportunity because I believe he's that good. We have had no issues, right? As I said, it's baffling, to be honest. I don't know who is benefiting from all of this. We here are living, breathing, working towards getting Indian cricket to the top. And here people want to you know, get some kind of pleasure in bringing it down. I don't understand how that works. I mean, you work hard for four years to bring a team from seven to one, and after four years, what are we talking about? I mean, let's, we, know, we have to reflect as cricketers. I'm sure that, you know, everyone can sort of take a step and think, guys, are we really, like, creating something that's not out there? Because within the team, as I said, it's, it's for everyone to see what kind of camaraderie and friendship, and it's evident on the field. Because you can't play with that kind of passion if people don't get along with each other. It's as simple as that. So, as I said, it's baffling and it's time that, you know, we focus on taking Indian cricket forward and not on things that are not even there uh, at the moment. Yeah, final two.